Okay, so first I want to say a very big thank you to everybody who comments, who likes, who shares, subscribes, <clears throat> all of that good stuff. I, it dawned on me the other day when I was watching somebody else's video and they were complaining about some of the comments they were getting because, you know, it's a human thing to do when, you know, you get comments that are ugly. You want to make a video addressing, hey, stop that or hey, that doesn't bother me. Or, hey. And I did that, too, when I had a whole bunch of, you know, I can't hear, I can't see. You should do this. You should do that. So I did a whole video on that, too. So I got that, too. But what we never stop to do is just a video on thank you. You know, we will make a video addressing people we don't like, but we don't do videos for people we do like. So that is one of the things that I'm going to do right now. So this is not a reading. I'll put that, try to put that in the title. That way people don't get all bent out of shape. You didn't read anything. Um, we have a few people in our community, in the Tarot Apprentice community, in the TAC. I am going to try to do a t-shirt one day. I really am. But there's a book on Amazon. I'm going to buy five copies. And once I figure out how to get them to other people, it is on, I think, um, it's a Kindle edition. So if you have the Kindle app on your phone, which I believe it's free to download, or if you have it on your tablet or wherever you have it, I can send it to you, I believe. Um, Cause it says I can buy one for others. So I'm gonna buy five. It's called, oh hell, where'd it go? Come back. Tarot's Poet, The Major Ancona by Tallulah Gudo. Now, I got the, the full poem. It's amazing. So basically what's going to happen is she's going to go from the fool to, you know, the empress and the emperor and the high priestess, all that, and just basically weave them all together. You know, start with the fool's journey, because that's what the major arcana is. Start with the fool and go through the major arcana in poet form. So I thought it was just so creative and so amazing. So I'm going to buy five. And if I can figure out how to send them to you, that I will send them to you. If you are interested, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, and look for, I think Yvonne says she has a product line coming out in through a colored lens. That's one of our other Tarot Apprentice community members who is also writing books. So this is our platform. I may be the reader, but this is us. So if you got something going on, I will shout you out. I have no problem with that. We ain't got to pay no ad money and all this kind of stuff. So just it, it didn't take me but five seconds to say that, you know, I'm just long winded. So it takes me longer. Um, but again, just a big thank you to everybody, even the people who leave negative comments. I mean, I know you probably don't expect to help me, but you actually do. Because every time you click on the video, it helps. So I thank you for that. I thank you for the ones who leave amazing comments. I was, I'm actually still kind of surprised. Um, not that people are kind, but that so many people are kind. Because the internet is the place where people go to get keyboard courage and they can say whatever they want to say because they don't have to say it to your face. And it's just really refreshing to go down in the comments and see two things. One, people say how much they love the channel and like me and all that kind of stuff. And then two, the engagement. You know, you read on this and you have something to say about that, you know. So that's just, it's really nice to see. It really is. Um... What else do I have to say? I got more tarot decks. This is one of the new ones. I think I got like 10. 
I have a problem now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I got three more coming. So yeah, I got ten more. So I think I have twenty-three now. That's quite all right. I'm going to have more by this time next year. So that's what I wanted to say. It's just a big thank you. I'm going to get that book, The Tarot's Poet. She also has another book called, I believe, with the pinch of salt or a grain of salt. Let me look it up so I don't start guessing. With a grain of salt. It is another poetry book. Um, I'm definitely going to try to send out the tarot one. Um, updates on live streams and private readings and all that. Private readings, I'm just, I gave up on those. So those might be somewhere down the line when I have a time to actually catch my breath. I'm off work tomorrow. Yay me. So that's why I'm up now and doing readings that I am doing. Um, uploads. So here's what happens. YouTube lets you stagger them out, so I record them all at once, and then I upload them, and then YouTube will put them out periodically. So they don't come in big bunches anymore. They sort of come out three or four at a time. So you let me know if you want like big bunches or if you want three or four at a time. Let me know. The reason I'm doing three or four at a time is because I can't make them every day. So I would rather make them a bunch at once and then you know, two or three a day instead of all at once and then nothing for another week. Because um, this is binge culture, so you know how that goes. You know, the very first time I got Netflix and watched The Walking Dead, I watched, I think, three seasons in two days. I'm like, how did I watch like 24 hours of TV? I really did. So, what else do I have to say? Uh, live stream. Live streaming is... I'm going to probably do it... Oh, I do have to say this. So this is the one negative thing I'm going to say. Okay, so I was watching a couple of people do a live stream. And then the people in the live stream started asking for readings. Readings are not free. Period. They are not free. I do them for free because I want to. They are not free. So if you email me saying read this for me, they are not free. You go to someone else's live stream, please understand that is what they do for a living. I don't do it for a living because I don't have the time yet to do it for a living. So again, live readings or live stream readings I can do because I feel like it. If I don't feel like it, don't get your feelings hurt. Just know that I don't feel like it. And mind you also, in the live stream, people want to see readings about, you know, whatever. When it gets to the personal readings, people are no longer interested and then they leave. So sometimes I might not do them at all just for the sake of the audience. They don't really want to sit through your reading. They want to sit through, you know, the public figure reading. So they may be limited to when I do the live streams. Live streams are probably going to be once a month. I don't know, something like that, because my off days don't run together. So if they run together, then I could do live streams better or more frequently. But anywho, but, live, but readings are not free. Now, um, what else do I have to say? Oh, if you have tarot cards at your house and you see me do a reading, um, what's her name? Sandra. I'll just say Sandra because for anonymity, she takes her cards out. She does a spread and she emails it to me to show me what she has. So if you all have tarot cards at home, I would love to see if you are doing a spread along with me. Or if you are doing a spread on the topic that I did a spread on, I would love to see what you got. So Tarot's Apprentice, T-A-R-O-T-S, no apostrophe, S, Apprentice, A-P-P-R-E-N-T-I-C-E, 
at gmail.com. Tarot's Apprentice at gmail.com. And I would love to see it. Um, if you have a reading suggestion, you can also email me too. Or you just want to say, hey, you can email me too. Um, but again, thank you. That's, so that's what I really wanted to say. Is thank you for this. Thank you for the platform. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you. I was going to do it anyway, but I'm glad that you're here. Mm, what else do I want to say? I think that was it. Just thank you. And if again, if you have a product that you want to to advertise on the channel, just let me know, and we will do just that. Okay, that's all I had. I actually finished my readings. That was the last one. I have some coming for y'all. Um, I did want to do why is... Never mind, I won't do that. You know what? Let's do... Let's do something, though. Can't just be uploading talking videos. I got this one. This I am getting closer and closer to the Rider weight. Like these seem a little more simple, right? But I love the big bold letters and the playing card background. Like I don't know. These are these are interesting. These are the new ones I got. Call the Aquarian Tarot. Let me do that first. Because if you're not interested in this video, you've already clicked off. So it's. <laughs> I'll show you the new ones. I really like these for some reason. Like I'm really just really resonating the crap with those. I really they're huge though. They're they're the size of this box. They are ginormous. So the Tarot la de la Louis. Um, this one got a 79 cards. I think the other card is something strange that I didn't put in there. Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't remember. I think that was, oh no. It was called Angel de la Louis. I don't know what that means. Dark Angel or something. But anyway, it got some criticism because all of the images are female. They're very, very uh, vivid, bright, very dynamic illustrations. They would make really good paintings. Or like, you know, like phone backgrounds type of thing. Like it would make really good that. Um, there are some guys, the kings are still represented by men, but all the other cards are women. But the criticism came in that, you know, you didn't have the sort of balance there and that the cards didn't have really anything to do with the suit. Like there's no swords in this card, seven of swords. There are no swords anywhere. So that got some, but it was really, they're really bright, dynamic images. And I'm trying to sort of fatten my tarot collection. So I got them anyway. I seen them a long time ago. I didn't get them because of that, but I got them anyway. Then there is the mermaid tarot. These are really cool too. they're all mermaids fishes of some sort um, they do have humans in them still but the mermaids are still featured or the tower one card that I did find really cool is how you got like the big whale on the ice there and then the three swords the three of swords which means like betrayal and loss and that kind of thing the devil the temptation with the fish out of water reaching for something shiny 
mermaids are traditionally, I guess, uh, folklorally, if I can make up a word, sort of drawn to shiny objects. So that was cool. And then there's the Aquarian Tarot. Um, I've never seen that tarot card. But these are really cool. They're very simple, but they look very... I don't know, I just, I love the writing. Is what I'm really drawn to. And then the outline with the black outline and the card background looking like plain card. and The rods are weird because they're like little flowers, but whatever. But the images are a different kind of symbol or simple. I don't really like the writer weight because it's a, it's, a, it's a simple that I don't like. This simple I do like. It has a different kind of look to it that I really like. Like some sort of museum painting look. And then this one is called the Night Sun Tarot. This one is quite strange. This is the back of the card. This is upright though. It looks upside down. This is technically upside down. This is upright. But they feature eyes and eggs everywhere. There's an eye and vines. It's really very viney. But they were very unique images, I thought. Like you have, that's the world. Ace of Cups, and there's a heart featured on a lot of them too, like in the center. Now that seven or five of swords is really interesting because if I get it to focus, on the top of his head is an eye right there. So it's very interesting. They have very eclectic images. And there's like little eggs on them and then some of the eggs are cracked. Uh, this is the Egyptian tarot. I got it just to sort of fatten the, the deck or the collection. They're all like set in like hieroglyph. Then they have the different languages for the name of the, this, the King of Swords. The Tower. The Chariot. So they're really, they're interesting. Kind of basic but interesting. This one I seen in, I was a little apprehensive at first because of the images were, I don't know, they were just real different, but I really liked them. They grew on me. That's the kind, that's the word I'm looking for. Like that's the six of wands. Ace of wands. They're almost not hologram. They're not hologram, but they, they could be type of thing. The backs do have a bit of, they're not hologram either, but this is not hologram, but it's that silver reflection or reflective material. If you can see that, probably can't see that. But it has a shimmer to it. But they're just really interesting images. Kind of reminds you of Atari days for those old enough to remember Atari. But I really like them. They grew on me. Love the box though. Yeah, that gives you more of an idea. That shimmer. Iridescent. That's the word. And this one is the one I said I really connected with when I got it. The Druid Craft Tarot book. I'm going to have to put that one 
Somebody else told me to put your cards in the window sill and let the moon hit them. It's supposed to charge them. I don't know. Never tried it. My hands can't fit around there. Like these are gigantic. Like this, uh, this, these are like playing card size, so I can get my hand that much around. I can't at all. Like this, this, this far. This, these are huge, but they're really cool. Looks like someone really took their time with the 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 lettering is actually interesting as well. And the Devil card and the Temperance card are in a language I do not understand. This is Temperance. Someone smarter than me tell me what that means. I forgot to look it up and I don't feel like knowing it right now. I'm sure it just means Temperance, but it might not. I need you to focus. Quit looking at other stuff. I don't know what that says. F-F-E-R-Y-L-L-T. I don't even know how to say that. But it's temperance. That's the card. And I just really like these images. I like the feel of the cards too. It's the the stock is really I mean it's 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 paper, but it I like the way it feels. They have a good feeling to them. Some of them are, they did come like chipped though. So very uncool. There's the lady, they changed a couple of names. Are you gonna be at the top really? I'm looking for, yes you are, goodness gracious. So this, is the devil but I don't know what that word is c-e-r-n-u-n-n-o-s it's the devil probably something from folklore but that's my new tarot cards that I had to show you like a parent at the park bragging on their kids I had to show you And I have them in a giant box. Hidden from the light. Okay, so that's all I got for today. Remember that book. If you want that book, Tarot's Poet, let me know. And while we'll try to get that set up for you. And until next time, I love you. Pass it on.